What's happening guys? Kenny back again and today I've got a little bit of a different video for you guys and what I'll be talking about today are these guys. That's right guys. Um, this is in fact my first wallet review. I've never really done anything other than like knives and um, EDC gear for the most part but mostly just knives um, as you guys probably well know if you follow my channel. Um, in saying that, uh, just to satisfy my overwhelmingly knife nut subscribers, I'll show you what I do have in my pocket today. Um, and that is a vintage series hinder. Uh, that is a 3.5. And um, that is the Skinner blade. And then, of course, a number 35 uh, Great Eastern Cutlery. Uh, this is the beer and sausage. This thing's got a nice patina on the blade going. Uh, the light's not perfect to see it, but yeah. I uh, love this thing and love my hinder, although that is a thick boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a 15 degree on that. Um, getting right into it today, guys, I want to talk about um, what I'm here to talk about, which is these Andar wallets. Um, I do believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, but not positive. Um, Andar is a relatively new, newer company. Um, I, it is a US based company, but they, I believe they source and make their products in a bunch of different countries. So it's not a US made item. But um, moving forward, I want to talk about um, real quickly, uh, these were actually supplied to me by Andar. And I want to say thank you to Andar because I was actually really uh, eager to kind of get something like this going where a company wanted to send me their product. Um, I could review it, let them know what I think, um, give them my feedback, uh, give you guys my feedback and, um, you know, kind of get a little bit of a relationship going with one of these companies. Um, I expected it to be a knife company, but not necessarily has to be, you know, um, my, uh, my screen name or whatever you want to call it, my YouTube handle is in the pocket. And obviously your wallet does go in your pocket. So in the pocket is an all encompassing type of thing. Um, it also represents my surfing, my skating, my music, everything like that. So in the pocket means more than just my knife, obviously. Uh, moving forward, I want to talk about these two wallets. They were supplied to me by the company. Although I did tell them before they even sent them uh, that I would be giving my full and honest review. So if I hated the product, that's what you guys are going to hear. And they were like, yes, by all means, that's what we want. We want you to give us your honest opinion. So I was really excited to check these out. They do have a lot of really nice uh, minimalist type options. I'm going to go ahead and get these out of the way. And we'll get right into these two wallets that I did choose. Um, I was able to just choose two of the ones that I thought I would like and go ahead and give my um, you know honest reviews on them. Now these two models, this is the Apollo model and this is in I believe the tan color and then this is the Ranger model and I'm not sure what the color was. I'll have to go ahead and put it right here but I was really excited to check these out and in getting them my initial impressions kind of drew me to the Ranger right away. Uh, I just like the simplicity of it. And I will say, um, spoiler alert, my opinion didn't change. Usually my initial opinions, they usually stick because I'm just that type of person. I can usually within five minutes realize what I like, what I don't like. And um, yeah, of course, over time you'll see um, quality in different products, but when you're talking about from the same company, you you know, usually my initial impression is going to stick. Uh, in saying that though, both items are made very well, and I think that no matter which one you choose, depending on your preference, I think you'll be happy with the quality of the items. Uh, yeah, uh, right away I want to do, I just want to quickly do specs. Um, I am going to go ahead and put on the page right here. I'll put on the specs for the Ranger. Uh, these come in at $55. And they are, uh, you know, you have some really nice options as far as colors and stuff like that. With the Apollo, I'll go ahead and put that on the screen now. 
the Apollo is $59, I believe, on their site. And yeah, they come in a whole bunch of different options, including a cork option, which is really cool. Cork's an awesome material and it's very um, renewable and reusable and and it's very sustainable on Earth. So I do, you know, and I like that some companies are kind of looking at that as well as they pick different uh, materials and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, and the leathers made in both of these are vintage, uh, you know, quality leathers. They do seem very supple and very well done. All the stitching is extremely well done. Nothing has even shown any bit of wear except for obviously the leather, which you can see has been carried quite a bit on both. Um, like I said, I was drawn to the Ranger and this has been pretty much in my pocket since I got it, which is I think about six months ago, they hit me up, maybe a little longer even. Sorry guys, uh, I know I wanted to get it done much quicker. I am gonna put some uh, a tape measure on these. You can see that's two and seven eighths across. Uh, you got about four and an eighth, about four and an eighth long. And you are looking, this is with, uh, you know, pr approximately five bills in there and probably seven cards. And you're looking at about, uh, it's gonna be hard for me to get this on film, but about five eighths, about five eighths of an inch thick. Uh, this one doesn't have any money in it, but um, you're looking at about half an inch right now. I'm sure you're going to end up with about five ace as well if you had the same amount of cash and cards in it. Uh, so they vary from about a half inch, maybe even thinner if you have very little in it, to you know maybe three quarters of an inch if you're stuffing it. And these do carry, like the specs show there, they carry one to ten cards. And then depending on your bills, I don't know, it depends on what your how many bills you have in there and then how you put it in there. Like this is five bills, this is just five twenties. Um, I can put it this way. I tend to do that sometimes when I'm in a hurry. I'll just put it like that. Um, it is a little thicker like that. So if you have a lot of bills, you can always just bifold it and, and like that. Or actually that's a single fold and instead of bifolding it and it'll keep it thinner. Um, but then it does tend to move a little easier. So depending on how much you have in there, if you have just a few bills, I do tend to uh, bifold it, fold it twice, and then just go ahead and tuck it in like that because it just seems a little bit more, you know, just a little not gonna move as easily. So in saying that, uh, I did tend to carry the Ranger more, although, I did like this, the Apollo, and it does have this money clip, which is a nice, if you do carry a lot of cash, you might actually prefer the Apollo because it does have this nice money clip and it's much easier to like kind of sort through bills when you're using this. Um, me, I don't carry too much cash, but I do like to have a little bit on me all the time, so I don't mind having it folded in that type of just slip, you know? I don't really mind that, where this is just a little bit more, if you do carry a lot of cash, it's definitely a little easier to get to your cash. But it does show it more as well if you're worried about, you know, opening your wallet and everyone seeing how much cash you have, uh, which, you know, a lot of people aren't gonna care about necessarily, but. I do like the simplicity of the Ranger more personally. It's a much simpler design uh, without that, you know, the money clip and all that. It also, it doesn't have this window, which some of you might really like the window because you can just show your license. You don't have to take it out every time. And uh, that's a nice thing. And if you did have to take it out, you can turn it, you know, this way and just quickly slide it out. It's very nice and you got your Andar there. Again, very well stitched, very well done. The money clip has a spring loaded type of thing. You can see there it kind of stays out and then you can, it does have a spring loaded clip. It slides out if you needed to clean it or something. Um, and then both of these wallets have this uh, elastic pull. And what this does is your most used cards you can just keep in this top slot, they're kind of hidden, and then you just pull on this, 
and they pop up. Very handy. And actually, probably one of the most uh, ideal um, things about these wallets, which I like, probably one of the things I like the most. You got a nice one here for one of your more used cards, but maybe not as much as this one. You know, that's your most used card you'd keep in this slot. Um, in this one, you'd probably keep like one of your other credit cards, you know, maybe debit card here, uh, most used credit card there. Then all your other cards you can keep in these two slots here. So there is plenty of, of, of storage in these wallets, even though they're fairly small and uh, minimalist. I, I do like the fact that they have a lot of, of, of easy storage to get to. In this wallet, um, I keep my you know regular credit card on the outside here, and then I keep my license and my debit card here. So I can get to my license easily, I can get to my debit card easily, but they're, they're not plainly shown, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be showing people all my cards necessarily when I need to pull one out. And I know my license and my debit card are here. Sorry for hitting the camera, guys. Um, that's nice to me. I really like having that. Um, it's, it's been very nice to have. So I did really like that little you know, access pull. And uh, these are RFID blocked, so you don't have to worry about someone stealing your information necessarily if they have those scanners. Um, although I haven't necessarily personally had that you know, issue, it, it's nice to have. It's nice to have that, um, that safety, that, that measure in there. But uh, guys, I am not a wallet reviewer. I'm not an EDC gear necessarily reviewer. So I'm sorry if I don't do something like, oh, you you don't know how to, you know, I know one guy's going to be out there saying, you don't know how to review wallets. I know, guys. I'm not a wallet guy necessarily. Um, I probably had four wallets in the last 15 years of my life. I buy a wallet and I forget about it. I use that wallet until it's literally falling apart and then I buy a new wallet. That's how it goes. Uh, so this might not be the best, uh, most informational wallet uh, video because I'm just not you know, necessarily a wallet reviewer. So I don't see a whole lot of wallets. I don't know what guys look for in these videos. So it's a little harder for me to gauge, but I can just tell you from my experience and as an intuitive person, I really enjoyed carrying both of these wallets. They were both well-made with very um, nice supple leather, very well done stitching, and nice nice access, um, easy to use, easy to get to. Uh, they carry enough cards and money for what my needs are. Uh, I never would carry more than 10 cards, honestly, guys. Uh, I stopped that a long time ago. And I don't carry wallets in my back pocket either anymore, which these would fit very nicely in your back pocket and be even slimmer than your average, those really thick wallets, you know, and especially like trifold wallets and stuff like that, or even bifold wallets. It's, it, these are going to be much quiet, you know, much tighter fit in your pocket, a much thinner, easier ride in your pocket, even your back pocket. Although now I do carry my wallet in my front pocket. It's actually usually in my knife pocket. So my knife is actually gonna be nestled right next to my wallet. And my wallet's in my front right pocket next to my knife. So that's what I would say. And these, you can see, have not taken much damage from my knives. Although I don't have too many knives with like big giant flippers like this that might tear it up. But they've held up really well. and or the jimping or anything would, you know, rub it wrong. It, they really have held up well. And um, I do prefer to carry my wallets in my front pocket and these work very well as front pocket wallets because they're nice and thin. Uh, a big thick wallet in your front pocket is kind of cumbersome. It's uncomfortable. It can be a pain, especially if you wear skinny jeans or something like that, which I don't. But yeah, it's one of those things where you know, a nice thin wallet works very well in your front pocket. And that's what I prefer. Uh, so, you know, in conclusion, guys, I would say that I really did lean towards the Ranger. And I would highly suggest these wallets if you're looking for um, a relatively, uh, I guess, uh, uh, cost effective, you know, not not too high priced wallet, but not it's not a cheap wallet either. You're looking at, 
you know, 55 bucks is pretty much the going rate for a nice leather wallet, but it's not outrageous either. You're not going to, you know, $100, $150 for a wallet seems like kind of crazy to me. But then again, I'm sure there's guys out there that spend more than that. And I'm sure guys wouldn't even bat an eye at that for a wallet. Uh, for me, that's a lot. Uh, 55, you know, 60 bucks. That's, that's perfectly fair in my eyes and um, something I would spend on a wallet. Uh, now, the one thing I would say a, a negative, my negative for this company and for um, these wallets, um, I have very few negatives, but one of them's a big one for me just because of my personal preference. Um, I wish they were made here, guys. Uh, that's my personal preference. And I know a lot of my viewers are going to agree with me. I wish they were made here. And I don't see why they couldn't be. Uh, we have plenty of cows. <laughs> we have plenty of cows in the United States and we have plenty of people that would build these wallets and you can make it for the same cost essentially. If you just made a really well, um, um, a, a, just an effective, you know, like if, if you did it right, you can make these here and they could be within the same range of price. Even if they were $15 more, I would pay it if they were made here. Uh, that was one of my first questions to them, and when they answered me, I wasn't stoked with their answer, although she was very honest, and, and she even took my criticism saying, oh, I wish they were made here, and they took the criticism very well, and they you know took note, so I really appreciate that, and I appreciate a company that's willing to stand behind their product, sending it to a reviewer like me, who's going to give it a pretty harsh review as far as um, if, if something broke, if, if I didn't like something about these, I would let you guys know. Obviously, I'm telling you right now that I don't like the fact that they're made, not made here. And um, in saying that, it's the only reason I wouldn't even consider like buying one or, you know, owning one. Uh, I mean, obviously, with them giving me these for review, I really was happy to try them out. And I loved them. I did. And um uh, I actually am going to give this one to my friend because he needed a wallet and it just happened to be right there. And I said, do you like this? And he loved it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and give this one to him. Um, this one, I might do a giveaway on my channel. I might give a, do a giveaway for this one uh, because I do appreciate them, uh, you know, giving them to me to review and not asking them, you know, asking to have them back. So I appreciate that, but it's, you know, I don't mind paying for my products either. So I do appreciate my viewers and I might end up doing a, a giveaway to get rid of this guy to my viewers. Um, because my, my wallet, um, is one of these Trayvax. Um, I do love this wallet. I actually kind of miss it since I've been carrying these for review. Uh, I don't love it necessarily more than these. I actually really like this wallet very much so, but it's made in the US and it even says right there in the leather, it's made in the USA. And I think I just prefer to support companies that make stuff in the USA. At this juncture in our lives, I think it's very important to support local. Um, and this is even, you know, maybe not local in my community, but it's local in my country at least. And I think that we need to start going this direction in our world. Um, less away from China and stuff like that, more towards local. It's the only way to get around destroying our planet, in my opinion. Uh, and then this has about the same amenities. It's not as, like this one has more of an elastic type thing. Um, as I showed you before, this has an elastic. This one is more actually just a functioning piece. You see that? It's not elastic. It's just essentially a piece of you know, um, whatever that is, cloth banding that is, just, it, it just works just like that, but it's stays out. So I do like this wallet. Your cash just kind of goes in there. The only thing I would say that I really liked about the Ranger more is the fact that it doesn't have this metal framing. So when it is nestled next to my knife, that middle frame isn't scratching the back of my knife, which it does do. Do I care? Not really. You guys know I use my knives. I don't care if they get scratches. I really don't care about that. But if you're thinking about that, um, then yes, something like this is actually much more friendly to your 
whatever you have in your pocket, whether it be your phone, whatever. This could sit next to your phone and it wouldn't be too bad. It's nice and thin. Maybe even as thin as my phone. My phone's definitely thinner than this, but yeah, I mean, if your phone and your wallet were in the same pocket, you wouldn't be done for. It wouldn't be that bad. So really enjoy that about this wallet. It's nice and supple. Um, one other thing I noticed right away, <laughs> right away, and when I got it out of the boxes, which was very nice too. The packaging is very nice. You can see it on the website. It's very nice packaging. Um, I will link their website below um, in the description of this video. Uh, so one last thing I noticed, well, the first thing I noticed actually was that as nice as the leather is, as supple as the leather is, um, as well done as everything is, they don't smell like leather. It's a little strange to me. Uh, this does. This smells like leather. <laughs> it smells like your regular cowhide leather. This doesn't. Uh, it may be the dyes they use. Um, it may be just the way they, you know, just how they treat the leather. Maybe something they do to make it waterproof. I don't know. But it doesn't smell like leather. That is something that just it just slightly bugs me. It's not a make or break situation, but it does bug me a little bit. I, I like my leather to be leather and smell like leather. And it's such a small thing, guys. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, like I say, most guys wouldn't even care. Most people wouldn't even care if it smelled like leather. And probably some of the top line leathers don't smell like leather. I like my leather to smell like leather. I don't know what it is. It's just, um, you know, I don't know. Anyways. It is the one thing I noticed that it kind of bugged me a little bit when I first got them, but really in the reality of things, functionally, these were excellent wallets. They both were very comfortable to carry, um, very easy to use, very easy to access, and I enjoyed them um, very much so. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank Andar for sending these to me to check out. If you guys go check out Andor's site, um, Andar has a lot of different things. They have, um, you know, wallets. They have cases, uh, case covers for your uh, eye earbuds. Um, they have, I think they have cases for your iPads and your iPhones. So they really do make a lot of nice products. And I would check some of their other products out as well. Um, the one thing I could tell them um, from me is just, you know, if you guys made them here, I would be all about it. Um, I really do love your design. I love your um, logo. I like that Aztec type look. Um, I don't know where Andar that word comes from, but I'm you know I'm curious. I should have researched that before doing this, but um, I just want to get these videos to you guys. And I've been way behind on getting this video out for Andar because they did they were nice enough to send them out, and I want to get it done. So um, thanks Andar. Thanks thank you thank you guys for sending these to me. Um, and for making a really nice product and um, it seems like you stand behind your product and that's really nice to see. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching and I will definitely see you guys soon. I'm trying to get more videos done and more out to you guys because I know I've been quite, kind of quiet lately and, um, and yeah, those new subscribers haven't seen a lot of new content. So thanks everybody and have a great day.